Hey guys, welcome to another episode of Recreating. Today I'm going to do a little review of Butch Meat Hook from Small Soldiers. Um, if you guys do follow me or you guys uh, subscribe to my channel, you guys seen how I made this guy out of using a chip hazard toy. Um, I just recreated him to make him look like Butch uh, Meat Hook. Um, if you guys haven't seen that video, there's a link down below or you guys could always go subscribe to my channel and you guys could look at my previous videos. Um, I want to give a quick shout out to AJ Coda. Hopefully I'm saying your name right. Um, he gave me a little picture of this little uh, card that he has here. If my camera could focus. There you go. He sent me a picture of it. I didn't know what he had. I know he had a little uh, picture here or a little card. I just didn't know what was in the card. And he sent me a photo on uh, Instagram to show me what's on the card. And that's as close as I could get. You guys could see is that's way smaller than my thumbnail so it's pretty small so that's that's close as accurate as I, I could get to the movie uh the helmet itself is made out of polymer clay um so i just sculpted that out the inside's just hollow and it's kind of chipped there because i dropped it I accidentally dropped it and um as far as meat hook's face i sculpted me meat hook's face as well um let me get the camera up a little bit there we go. Um, as you guys can see his face, I sculpted his face. This is originally a chip hazard face. I just had to uh, put some um, epoxy onto it to make it, uh, to shape it into uh, uh, Butch Meat Hook's uh, face to make him look more like uh, Butch himself. So I think it came out pretty good. Uh, I don't know, leave your comments down below. Let me know what you guys think. This is the very first uh, Small Soldiers creations that I thought that was the reason why I picked this guy was because I thought it was gonna be the easiest one to create. Boy, was I wrong! <laughs> I came, I ran into a whole lot of things that were I had a bunch of issues with. Uh, first of all, I used polymer clay for his chest to begin with. Um, it was pretty hard to do because I had to heat it up with the heat gun. Because polymer clay, you have to heat it up at a certain temperature; it uh, gets hardened. So. Uh, it was pretty difficult to do his chest, but I ended up doing it anyways. Uh, it's still polymer clay. Uh, some of the pieces chipped off, so I had to keep redoing it and redoing it. That's the problem with polymer clay is that it's easy to break. Um, also, the thing that caused me problems were his little spikes at the bottom of his boots. Um, so that this took me longer to do than everything else in this guy. Uh, the little hook because I did it over and over again I did different methods and none of them actually worked out until I figured out a simplest way to do it as just basically shape these out of a polymer clay and then just glue it onto there I had to shave the whole bottom off because there is little spikes that he has originally from chip hazard so I had to shave all that stuff off so if you guys could see it's just a straight line now I had to chip off, I had to scrape off all of that and then glue these onto it. So that's the, that's the way I ended up uh, going with. And then um, the pants are like a mustard, a mustard yellow mixed with a skin, a light skin color. I think it's called Sunset Skin or something like that. Um, mix those two together until I got this color. Uh, this is just regular brown. This is brown. Uh, this was. Um, a mixture of different greens as well uh, there was like an apple core green and then there was a, a dark green and a variety of greens in there I don't know um, <clears throat> but I finally got the color I, ba I made a luckily I made a bunch of that color because if I wouldn't have made that bunch of that color and this thing would have chipped off I would have been screwed because I had to match the whole color all over again Anyways, I made a bunch of this uh, green. I have a little bucket full of green or a little cup full of green, I should say. Not a bucket, a little cup full of green. And um, just in case something happens, I could always repaint it. As far as the belt, I screwed up on it. Um, I am going to fix it. Um, I used the epoxy for this belt and it was pretty hard to do. I've never used epoxy before in my life. <laughs> so uh, this is the first time using epoxy. So that's why that came out the way it did. But I think I'm getting better at it. You guys will see future projects that I've used epoxy. And uh, they come out pretty good if I do say so myself. Anyways, the bands. 
uh, Chip Hazard already had bands, but I think he had them black. Or this was supposed to be like a... Yeah, I think he had a band. They were black. I think. Oh, no, they were gloves. There you go. So it was a side-by-side -side comparison. There were gloves that he had on. Luckily, they already looked like fists, like regular fists. They didn't look like actual gloves. So they looked like hands because Me Hook didn't have any gloves. So it worked out pretty fine. Uh, the other thing, too, that I found hard was that when I tried to take these bombs off because I had to make the pockets on this dude, I took this off. The, the inside, this chest plate, it's completely hollow. So when I took this off, it left big old gaps. You guys will see that on the video, how I, when I made this guy. If you guys haven't seen that, go check it out. I left some big old holes, so I had to fill it in with clay. And then I had to fill it in with polymer clay. And then I had to fill it in with epoxy. So, that's why it was so dang difficult to make this guy. Anyways, this is what he looks like without his helmet. Looks pretty weird <laughs> without his helmet, I can't. I like it better with his helmet. Anyways, um, so yeah, there it is. There's a 360 view of him. So there you go, so side to side comparison with the actual what it looked like at the beginning, and this is the end result. Um, I wish you guys could see the face better, but for some reason. The camera's not picking it up. Here. Here. I really like how this face turned out, honestly. Uh, there's a little bumps here and there. But like I said, it's the first time I ever worked with the epoxy clay. Or the epoxy that hardens with the, with the mixture of... Uh, there's two part epoxies. Uh, when I mix them together, they get hardened uh, just by air. Just let it out to dry. And it gets super hard. It's a lot better than using polymer clay. I figured that the hard way. But um, polymer clay worked out pretty good. Uh, I don't know for the long run. I don't know how long it's going to last. But I think I'm going to start using uh, epoxy for now on. Because uh, it works a lot better. It's a little bit more expensive. But it's worth it. I think it's a lot worth it. A lot. I think it's worth it. <laughs> in the long run. That's what I should say. That's what I meant to say. But uh, yeah, there goes this little buckles on the side. I had to make that buckle right there on his boot because that's what he had. He had a buckle on his boot, uh, and I made those two. And that is it, guys. I hope you enjoyed this little episode. This little um, brief, well, not too brief. It's seven minutes in. <laughs> it's only supposed to be five minutes in. But anyways. I hope you enjoyed it. If you guys did, please don't forget to hit the thumbs up because it does help me out a lot, guys. If you're new to the channel, please don't forget to subscribe because if you guys do, you guys will see me on the next one. Peace.